Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. We're going to today do a quick tutorial on um, how to get started with some automated stock trading and investing. Um, this is does definitely require some background knowledge on Python and on APIs. Um, if you don't have that, that's fine. I'm going to post some stuff in the future, kind of going more in depth Python tutorials and getting started there. But since my primary purpose for this website and this channel in general was to kind of explore this automated investing. Um, I wanted to make this my first video. So this is going to be the first in a series that's going to kind of go through step by step how I went about making my own um, automated trading bot and kind of teaching you how to do it. Now, I want to say something at the beginning. I prefer doing it this way rather than just giving out code because one, if you don't understand the code, I could put anything I want in it and you are not going to know what's happening on your own device. And two, um, if you understand the code better, one, that, that's like you're learning something along the way, which is always good. And two, um, you can customize it and kind of make the trading uh, based off of whatever kind of things you want. If you want the trade to be based off of what the weather's like that day, you could do that. You can code that um, if you understand how to do it. So um, to start out, we're just going to go ahead. I like to use Alpaca. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description, but uh, just up front, I don't have any kind of referral. I don't even think they do that. Um, I just genu genuinely like Alpaca um, because they have this paper trading option. They have a very nice API that's pretty easy to use. Um, and I think it's a really good starting point if you, this is something you want to try to do. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Alpaca, make an account, stick with the free account. There's no need, especially when you're getting started, to get a paid account. Um, and then I would recommend going to paper trading so that you don't have to use real money. Um, you can set this to whatever you want to set it to. And uh, so what you need from here to make you need to make this count, get this set up, you can trade here in the paper trading. So if you just want to test your own trading strategies um, manually, you can do that. You can buy and sell here. Uh, but what we're interested in is uh, these API keys. So you see keys have not been generated. I've uh, cleansed this account, so we're starting fresh here. So we're going to click generate new key. So these are our API keys. This is going to go away after you refresh, so you need to make sure you put it down somewhere. Um, and uh, with these, we can now, you're going to go ahead and download this Alpaca Trade API. Um, so this is something that you're going to use. It's going to interface with Python and allow you to connect to this account with these keys and make trades in Python that are going to get executed here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is go here. This is assuming you already have Python, uh, the latest version of Python downloaded and installed. From that, all you need to do now is this pip install Alpaca Trade API. And that's also right here on the website they let you click this copied. Um, and you can read through the project description and all that if you want to. I'm not going to get too in-depth on that. Um, so what we're going to do, this, uh, mine shouldn't take too long because I already have this installed. Um, so this is just saying, like, this is what it would need to download if you were doing this new and you didn't have some of these things, um, which is not all that much. Uh, pretty quick download for me. The first time I did it, I think it took five, ten minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that out just so we have a nice clean uh, workspace. And now with that downloaded, you can go into any .py file, and you can do this import, Alpaca Trade API, as I do as Trade API, because it's simple, I know what it is. You can put whatever you want here, it's just a variable. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, and now we're gonna put our API keys in. So that's the key ID. Go back here, back to this overview, key ID. Copy to clipboard, back here, paste. So now that's in there. API secret, get rid of that, go back here, copy this, and paste it in there. And then this is your URL that's also listed here, um, endpoint. So we're using the paper one, so that's why it's paper. If you did the live, it would be live. Um, and they'll have the same URL for that, and the same API keys in the live trading as well. Um, so got that all set up. What this is doing here is this is starting up your connection. This is saying, like, I want to open this trade API with my key, my secret, and the URL. So it knows where it's going. It knows where it needs to send these um, requests to. So the first thing we're going to talk about today, because it's one of the most basic things you need to be able to do um, to eventually get an automated trading algorithm running, um, you need to be able to submit orders, buy, sell, whatever you want to do. So this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm going to attach... I'm not going to talk through it because it's it's pretty dense and there's a lot of stuff in here. 
um, they have this API documentation that's pretty pretty in depth. They even have um, where are they at API documentation, how to code examples. These are great. Um, I've used these quite a few times as I go through. They have it in all kinds of languages. I prefer Python for projects like this. If you prefer something else, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to be able to teach you as well though because I don't I don't know these languages as well as I know Python. Um, but definitely look into that. I'll link that in the description as well. So, and that'll have the information on what exactly needs to go into all of these different requests. For example, submit order, we need the ticker. So Apple, per se. We want to buy one share of Apple. This is that what that one is for. Uh, buy instead of a sell order, market price, and good for the day. Um, and then I put this sleep in here. You don't, you wouldn't need to do that normally, but I put this import time, time dot sleep. Um, just to give it a second for that trade to actually happen, because if you did these back to back, it's likely that trade would not have occurred yet. Um, by the time you try to check your positions, and it would it would show you no, that you have no positions, even though that trade is pending. Um, so then, what we're doing this alpaca alpaca trade, which is this instance here, dot list positions. This is going to return all the positions own stocks. So anything you own is going to return it in a big list and uh, a list of objects. That's a key key part here. So when I say for position and positions, it's a list, so I need to do that. Print position. Um, this is not just going to return like Apple. That's going to return a big table of values. It's going to be like ticker is Apple, quantity is one, pr uh, potential profit loss, like unrealized profit loss, all this stuff. So it's going to return a bunch of stuff, which is good. Um, and then if you want to index that later on, you can kind of like do like dot quantity. So if you want to see like how many of each thing you own, you could see the quantities of them. You could see the, I think it's symbol. You can check all this in the API though. It's pretty um, self-explanatory there. But we're going to go ahead, save that. So we've got this all written up just to um, prove to you how this works. So Python 3 tutorial.py, I'm going to go ahead and run it. It is going to sit for a second because um, in, in addition to that sleep time, it does take some time for it to send things back and forth. And I've found as I've gotten more advanced with making um, some of the other versions of my investment bot, um, it has kind of slowed down sometimes. If I'm trying to do a lot of trades very quickly, it needs to have some time to send that back and forth. It's not in instantaneous. So check it out. So we have a returned position, it's this object, asset class. It's a U.S. equity. It gives you an ID for it. It's marginable, gives you the average entry price, all these um, pretty useful things to have. Um, exchange, NASDAQ, symbol, it was symbol, quantity. And then if we go back to our overview, see it's refreshing. Uh, in a second here, we will see, here we go, right here, portfolio, uh, Apple, price, one. It, so it tells you like what we have. You'll see this start moving around, buying power goes down because we bought a stock. You get the order history in here. So that's kind of like the first step in um, making your own API. Um, so if you want to go ahead and try something like this, just put in some different trades, play with it a little bit. Um, you can even continue on your own, um, but I will be posting more videos of kind of how to do more things, exploring in the future, how to pull stock data, how to pull data to tr base your trades off of, um, and kind of how to get a little bit more advanced with it. But that's just a good baseline for you to kind of that's what you need to do to start out. And then we'll start getting a little bit more advanced where we're going to pull our data from, what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave in the comments, email me. You can get my contact information um, on my channel or on the website. Check out the blog. Um, if this helped you out, I would really appreciate leaving a like. Um, and yeah, comment what else you would like to see aside from um, more tutorials on how to go through this. So uh, without further ado, thank you for watching and um, have a great day.